uh, announced that Daniel Jones took his teammates to North Carolina for a workout there. Uh, and it's actually a pretty impressive list of guys there. I mean, it's all offensive guys, it's all, all skill position kind of guys, obviously. It's not like you took the whole, you know, you know, 90 Damn. plus people there at that point over to the uh, to North Carolina. That'd be quite the hotel bill. Um, <laughs> but those who did attend, uh, I think it's kind of telling. Uh, I, I think it says one of two things. People who made time to do what they have to do to make this roster or – I should say, and or because it could be both. It's a say, could be both, and, or people that Daniel Jones likes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. Like, listen, we've all had that schmuck coworker that people didn't like. You don't invite that guy out to North Carolina. Touche. So, you know, I mean, unless he's a bigger man than I am, because I sure as hell wouldn't. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe Daniel Jones is just that guy. Like, it's for the team. <laughs> like, it wouldn't shock me. Uh... It wouldn't shock me at all if he was like that. It's for the team. Let's do it. I feel like none of us actually know Daniel Jones's real personality, though. Like he could be the biggest jerk behind closed doors; we'd have no clue. He's got that like Tiger Woods thing going, where like nobody knows what he thinks on anything, nobody knows that it's his opinion on anything. And next thing you know, we find out he's got like ten thousand girlfriends in, in Las Vegas. Who knows? Pretty much, yeah. go play eighteen holes and then go <laughs> golf. He played more than eighteen. I heard. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> the, team, the team, the team members that did come, uh, along with obviously Daniel Jones himself, that'd be kind of messed up if he didn't show up at his own workout. Uh, quarterbacks Drew Locke and Tommy DeVito. Oh yes, Tommy DeVito. Uh, wide receivers Darius Slayton, Malik Neighbors, Wandale Robinson, uh, Jalen Hyatt, Bryce Ford Wheaton, and Dennis Houston. Tight ends Daniel Bellinger, Theo Johnson, and Lawrence Cager. Only one running back. I was a little shocked by that. I thought I thought Devin Singletary would be the guy that they would really get out there. And I got to think they at least requested or invited. Yeah. But he wasn't there. It was our boy, Dante Turbo Miller. It's Turbo double Miller. time. Turbo. It is not the Duma. <laughs> <laughs> Getting the chopper. <laughs> but yeah, this Good is... Now. A- <laughs> This is an unofficial workout, though, guys, again. So it's not mandatory by anything. Uh, it's kind of a team-building exercise there. Uh, also serves a pretty good bonding experience, I think, for the guys overall. Listen, people can talk about bonding as nothing when it boils down to it. But when you're going to fake battle, we know it's not real battle, but you're going into battle with these guys, it's nice to kind of get to know them, have a good relationship with them, and like spending time with them. That does actually matter, you know. Um they even showed a video of the guys jet skiing together and stuff like that on Twitter. Like that's awesome. Like that's that's the kind of thing to do at that point. There it can't be all nonstop work, 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 work. Then what happens is you have my life, and that's not fun. <laughs> yeah, womp womp womp. So, but yeah, like I said, good good to see overall. Uh, the workouts obviously uh, are in between OTAs and training camp. It's basically been a giant tradition since back in 2011 when Eli Manning started doing it. Now, he started doing it as the players were locked out at the time uh, and couldn't actually have their own, you know, camp with the teams there. So they went ahead and did, you know, and on their own, basically, which is very admirable. I'm part of why Eli was Eli at that point. He's like, well, if you're going to lock me out of the building, I'm going to bring my own building. He brought the guys down to Duke at that point and, you know, wor- did some workouts there. Uh, so, you know, good to see that tradition is continuing. We'll have to see if the next quarterback after Daniel Jones continues. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I know I'm a jerk. It's wop, okay. Wop. It's okay. It's too okay. soon. <laughs> Is it too soon? It's never too soon. It didn't happen yet. It's not even too soon. It's like prognosticating at this point. But obviously prognosticating the pretty obvious. True. Oh, who knows? He might, he might shock us and have a really good year. I hope so. I really do. He's a, guy, he's a giant, but yeah. Thanks for listening to Two Giant Goofballs, a New York Giants podcast. We appreciate your support. Thanks so much.